Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mink and of course this is Mink's Kinks. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. Today we're going ahead and we're talking about my first hair routine of 2024. And let me tell y'all, I am so, so excited. I have so many products here, so many new products that I'm anticipating that I'm going to get into. And it's going to be an interesting video. I know you guys really do enjoy my hair routine. So, of course, I am here to provide, okay? But first things first, if you're new around here, hey, my name is Mink. I do a lot of natural hair, lifestyle, book, beauty, all types of content. So, if you're interested in any of those things, definitely go ahead, hit that subscribe button, join our Kiki Crew of course, we would love to have you. Come on, act like you know. And leave me a comment down below so that I could personally welcome you here because, hello, we're, we're happy about it okay so before we go ahead and get into the video i know people are going to ask about my hair so i'm going to share the details here this is about a week old tweed out i want to say that i did um but i didn't like the way my tweed out came out so basically what i did was i used the creamy nature honey mousse which y'all know i'm actively trying to finish up i just used that to um put my hair in a couple braids i think i did like seven or so braids just randomly midweek because i had something to attend yesterday so that is what my hair is um that mousse only gives me a day or two hold so today is wash day because it looks okay on camera but chill in the mirror it looks it looks a little crazy but it's good enough so let's go ahead and start with week one of my wash day routine so for those of you who are new around here, I split my wash days up into a week each month. So typically there's four weeks in a month. So I have a routine for each of those weeks. So we're going to go ahead and start with week one. So for the first week of the month, I like to really go ahead and cleanse my hair. I personally like a good clarifying cleansing wash day. I just like to feel like my hair is just super clean and just fresh start. So I do have two shampoos that I use on these weeks. So the first one I have here is the Best in Bloom Gentle Herbal Cleanser, which I have really been enjoying. And y'all, I use this so often and it feels like this bottle is still freaking full. And then the other one that I have is the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Detangling and Conditioning Shampoo. So as you guys can see, this one is definitely more of a natural ingredient type situation. This one does have sulfates and silicone. So I have two separate wash days for what I'm looking for that day. So we're going to go ahead and start out with the one that is cleaner ingredient. So again, if I am just going in with just a normal wash day, I will go in with the Gentle Herbal Cleanser from Baskin Bloom. It's definitely a clarifier. I typically only wash my hair once. I don't, I wash my hair once a week, almost every week. It's very rare that I go over a week. So I just opt in for this and I usually only shampoo once. And then the current conditioner that I am using with this is the Mayo Oats and Honey Soothing Conditioner. And as you guys can see, the bottle is starting to get bent up. So y'all know I'm really using a product. I will say I'm about halfway through. And since I'm about halfway through with this Myel conditioner, I, of course, I'm going to finish this in literally no time. I anticipate by like two more uses. If that, this will probably be gone. So I did pick up a new conditioner, as you guys will see, in a hair haul that I did not too long ago. So I will link that in the cards if you didn't see it. I picked up the Donna's Recipe Sweet Potato Pie Extra Creamy Moisturizing Conditioner. So this is what the product looks like. This is also 8 ounces. And I'm so, so excited to try this. This will be my first product from Donna's Recipe. So yeah, you guys, those are the two conditioners that I plan to use up during this this time period is usually like every like three or so months so i think i have about two uses left of this and i haven't tried this one so i'm really excited to get into this but of course y'all know that i also follow up with deep conditioners so let me show y'all the deep conditioners that i use for this just regular clarifying wash day okay y'all so the deep conditioner that i started this past wash day when i recently did it is from trees of tresses this is the goddess greek deep conditioner um, I did do a review on this one. It should be up by the time you guys see this. I um, am very 50-50 on this product. I will have to see how this works the rest of the way. Um, let me zoom in so I can show you guys how much I used. So that is about how much of the product that I used. I would say about a fourth of it. So I'm anticipating I have about three more uses left of this deep conditioner. 
I did have to be a little bit heavy handed with this deep conditioner so I I don't know y'all I'll see how I feel about this one but of course I do have a backup deep conditioner just in case I do finish this one so the backup deep conditioner that I have is actually from Camille Rose and it's from that around the world collection where it had like three different deep conditioners I have in fact had all three of them um, I've only used the green one which was the protein treatment it was cool I wasn't mad at it at all I thought it was a pretty good product but I still have the remaining two and this is one of them this is the oud rich moisture treatment and I've heard very 50 50 reviews on this one I did pick this one up from Sally's it was on clearance for 909 so I just picked it up because why not it's been in my stash for a really really long time um and it's just time for me to use it up and it's only eight ounces so it's not gonna go that far any old way okay y'all so y'all heard me say that if i am going in with just a regular degular wash day routine i will use those products but on the off chance that i do want to use silicones for whatever reason i like i said go in with this cream in nature coconut milk detangling and conditioning shampoo and this does have sulfates and silicones I did use up the conditioner in this line. I believe that was in my last empties of 2023. So I had to go ahead and select a conditioner that I wanted to pair with this shampoo. So for the past couple routines, I have been talking about pulling out this Goddess Curls Fortifying Conditioner from Carol's Daughter. So that is what the Goddess Curls Conditioner looks like. It is beautiful packaging and it's a hefty product. It's like 15 ounces. I lied, it's 11 ounces. <laughs> But honestly, y'all, I was playing around in my stash, and I think that I'm going to go ahead and go in with this Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. This is the Dream Detangler. It's a jelly to cream conditioner. So that's what this one looks like, and this one is open, and there's, a, I don't know, a good bit gone. One of my friends passed this along to me for me to try, so shout out to my Gabby girl. So instead of going in with the Goddess Curls Conditioner, I'm going to go in with this Wash Day Delight Conditioner. This is in the rose scent. It is very, very rosy. Okay, so if you're not a floral girl or guy, this one is definitely rosy. There is just the regular aloe version if you're not into that. Um, but this was given to me, so y'all know I'm going to use it up. I've been very curious about this conditioner, and it's so much product. And this is open, whereas this one is not. So I decided to go ahead and use this one because it is open, as well as we'll be transitioning to the spring months here soon. So I figured, let me just go in with this one and see what it's hitting for. It is extremely rare that I wash my hair and don't deep condition. So no matter the routine, I have a deep conditioner. For my silicone wash day routine, I have been using the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. This is a cult favorite. I've done a review on this one right now. I'm just trying to use it up, child. And I don't do my silicone wash day very, very often. So it takes me a little bit longer to get through these products. But um, this is just a product that goes a very, very long way. I can't tell too much because this is a product that will move oh it smells so so good but this is the silicone conditioner that i have been using and i plan to do a silicone wash day here very very soon so i'm excited to dig back into this one okay y'all so now that we have week one of clarifying my hair all out and it has been completed next for week two i go in with a co-wash so since i went ahead and clarified my hair that much i don't really think that i need my hair really really clean one of the things that i absolutely learned in 2023 was that i'm just not really a co-wash girl so i have been using up a ton of my co-washes i only have a handful of them left which is absolutely insane but I pulled out a new co-wash so this is a new product that I've been you know getting my feet wet with so the co-wash that I pulled out is from Eden Body Works this is the coconut shea natural cleansing co-wash y'all all have seen this product whether you walk past it whether you have used it whether you know somebody who has loved it so many people have used and loved this product and honestly I picked this one off my shelf because one of my girlfriends natural Ray Ray I love her and she raves about this co-wash so I was just like to me a girl Miss Mink go ahead and pull this up off your shelf and see what it is hitting for and I have used it a couple times I would say it's about a four foot away gone I can't really show y'all because the product is white um but so far so good I tried to pull it in as much as possible but y'all know this is another product that will run as well so y'all can see I've used a good little bit of it 
and i will say so far so good this is a lot of product it's 16 ounces of co-wash my favorite moisturizing co-wash comes from eden body works it was the lavender and aloe co-wash with the pump uh i love that pump i wish that all co-washes whether it's from as i am or eden they typically come in this jar and i wish that they had a pump because the pump makes such a difference for me my hands are already wet in the shower and then i put my wet hands in the product and i don't like that i wish these had a pump Eden, if y'all are watching, as I am, if y'all are watching, please give the girls a pump. But I do really enjoy this co-wash. I think that it's really, really good. It's moisturizing. Um, there's not too much to say about it. It's a good co-wash though. And it's on the ground, it's affordable, and it's black owned. So this is one that I would absolutely recommend as co-washes go. And y'all, if I use the silicone wash day prior to using that Eden Body Co-wash, I will go in with this Cream of Nature Argan Oil Apple Cider Vinegar Rinse. Y'all. So when I tell y'all, um, this was full, I want to say halfway through last year, like had never used it or anything. And now we're getting a little less than a halfway point. And let me tell y'all, this is absolutely clarifying. So I feel comfortable using this prior to um, co-washing after silicone wash day because I really do feel like it's getting everything up off my hair. So if I use the silicone wash day, before I go in with my co-wash, I will use this Cream of Nature Apple Cider Vinegar Rinse. Um, it does what needs to be done. And of course, this wash day routine is much, much shorter because I don't use a rinse out conditioner after I co-wash. A co-wash to me is just a cleansing conditioner. My hair gets clean as well as I have the accessibility to slip and all of those things. So after I co-wash, I just go in with my deep conditioner. And a deep conditioner that I have been using and absolutely loving is the Camille Rose Honey Nectar um, Deep Conditioning Treatment. Absolutely obsessed. So that is what this product looks like and y'all will see that I am about halfway at this point and I've gotten so many uses out of this I just cannot. This was on my favorites list of 2023. The product just okay Camille Rose did their big one on this one. It has slip. I feel the protein in my hair but it also leaves my hair moisturized and soft. It's just a product that I just love. It's just a good product and highly recommend. Highly, highly, highly recommend. And then on the off chance that I do finish up that um, Camille Rose deep conditioner treatment, I'm going to go in with this Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Treatment Mask. This was a product that was in my products to be used up in 2024. I literally don't have much of this left at all. I'm literally like right here. So I'm anticipating that to be maybe a use, maybe two, depending on how it goes on in my hair. This is a deep conditioner that I absolutely used to love, but I just haven't reached for it in a really, really long time. And it's been open for a really really long time so i'm just wanting to use this up and if i want to repurchase it and see if it's still the same i always can but for this one i just want to use it up okay guys so that is the end of week two week two is definitely short sweet and to the point it's definitely the shortest of my wash days so then for week three i like to go back in with something a little bit more clarifying not as clarifying as week one where i would need a sulfate or a deeply deeply cleansing shampoo where i want my hair to be almost stripped so i go in with something more more cleansing than a moisturizing shampoo but less harsh than like a clarifying shampoo so what i have been using for the past couple months or so is the shea moisture kakui nut and grapeseed oils damage rehab shampoo and conditioner my shampoo bottle broke so i had to put it in this little container that is why so as you guys can see there is literally not much left in this at all at all at all i don't anticipate having this a lot longer but y'all know shampoos are the gift that keep on giving honey and then i do also have the matching conditioner and this will be going today this is actually my wash day routine for today so i will be using up this conditioner this will be gone there's not a whole lot left in here at all it's literally this much I probably will bring that Mayo conditioner into the shower with me just so that I make sure that I have enough conditioner to spread around my whole head. But as of lately, these have been my cleansing, my medium cleansing shampoo and conditioners. And so, of course, my Shea Moisture conditioner will be gone. So I just opt in to use whatever other conditioner I'm using in that system since there's not like a matching duo. So I will use either the Myel conditioner that I mentioned from week one or the Donna's recipe that I mentioned in week one as well. And as you guys saw, my shampoo is just about gone. So y'all, how often do you finish up a shampoo? Hardly ever. So I decided to go in next with this, um, the Main Choice Exotic Kool-Aid Shampoo 
um i just shook it up a little bit trying to grab it from where it was from but um there is not a lot left in this one at all either so i just decided instead of open up something new let me go ahead and use this up there's not much left in here at all like i'm talking like maybe this much left there's not that much shampoo but i remember really really enjoying it obviously child because i didn't use almost the whole bottle so i'm just going to go ahead and use this up and then i'll pick like a fresh new shampoo and conditioner that i will want to finish up whenever i finish both of these shampoos now as for deep conditioners for this week i have a lot of deep conditioners so i'm going to tell y'all right now i have three deep conditioners that are just about gone and i'm gonna show them all to you so the first deep conditioner that i have is the oyen handmade with the hemp again this was in my favorites of 2023 and that is how much i have left in this one i have the honey's handmade melba sweet potato and turmeric healthy scalp hair mask and then last but not least out of these three i have the nature's little secret agave nectar moisturizing treatment which again one my battle of my favorite deep conditioners i battled the oyen handmade and the nature's little secret and nature's little secret did win it did so if you're interested in picking this one up i also have a discount code in my description box so um it's always in my description box i don't remember off the top of my head child i have a couple i actually have one for oyen as well so if you're ever curious about discount codes or i mention it just go check the description box my code the details and probably a link is going to be down there for you as well so this is the nature's little secret one that i have and that is how much i have left in this one so since I'm actually washing my hair today and using the Shea Moisture Kukui Nut Shampoo and Conditioner, I'm literally going to mix all of these deep conditioners and just see what it gives me uh, because I don't have a lot left in any of these. So I'm thinking if I put all of these together, I should get enough to go around my whole head. I'm thinking I'll get enough to go around my whole head. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use these products. I'm going to mix them all up in one container and just see what it gives me. Now. I know that there's a lot of reviews like that on YouTube where people mix like the deep conditioners and just see what happens. I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see that on my channel so I am just going to include it in a vlog but in the future if I have a bunch of like just about gone deep conditioners let me know if that's something that you guys want to see but that's what I'll be using up today. So three deep conditioners and the Shea Moisture Rinse Out Conditioner will be gone today. Four empties. Don't play with it. Okay you guys so that means that I will have several deep conditioners gone meaning i need to pull out something new so i have two suggestions here i honestly don't think that i will finish both of them but i'll show them to y'all anyway the first one i have here is from sauce beauty this is the smoothing curl hair mask and it is the honey chai scent so it's made with honey shea butter and chai so this is what the deep conditioner looks like it is a pretty nice size i think it's like 10 ounces if i remember correctly so this is the first option here and i will be going in with this one first and then I do have a second option. Y'all know I'm trying to get through my Honey's Handmade Stash. So this is the Chebe um, Cocoa Hair Mask here. Um, and I think that this one did sound really good to me. This was a part of my last order, unfortunately, from Honey's. So these are the two deep conditioners that I'm looking forward to using if I end up using up this one. So I will plan to use up these two. Um, just because these are more cooler weather deep conditioners to me. Like I said, this one is 10.5 ounces. This one is just your standard 8 ounces. So if I get through this, child, I would be very surprised. I've never used this product or any product from Sauce Beauty before. So this will definitely be like an experiment for me. But um, I know that I typically like Honey's deep conditioners. Some are hit or miss, but for the most part, I do like their deep conditioners. So I'm just going to put these two to the side so that I can use them both up. All right, you guys, so we have made it to the fourth and final week of the month, which means that since I went ahead and just did a semi-cleansing shampoo and conditioner duo, I want to follow that up, of course, the following week with some moisture. So I have been going in with the Kinky Tresses Avocado Infusing Shampoo. This is a fan favorite. The girls and the guys love this shampoo. Mine is just about gone. It's like literally like about here. They did send me a full bottle of one, but I just gave it to my mom because I have so many shampoos. It's going to take me so long to get through all of my shampoos. So I just gave that one to her um, so that she could use it and enjoy it. I follow with whatever conditioner I'm using in the first week of the month. So right now, when I go in and use this, I will be using the Myel conditioner. If not, I will be following with the Donna's Recipe conditioner. So 
y'all get it since the shampoo is just about gone i did pull out a new shampoo and conditioner duo as well so the next shampoos and, well the next shampoo and conditioner duo that i'm going to use is another one from shea moisture i have so many shampoos and conditioners from shea moisture and they take up so much space on my shelf so i'm really prioritizing using them up so this is the raw shea and kupawasu frizz defense shampoo and conditioner so that is what these two look like and they smell amazing so whenever that Kinky Tresses shampoo is all used up, I will be following up with these. They say that they are for thick and wavy hair and it is going to cleanse and smooth. I've never used these before, so y'all will get a whole wash day routine with these two because I've absolutely never used them. I just opened them up to smell them. And then, of course, for the fourth week of the month, I like to follow up with some sort of protein. So, y'all know I was using the Botanica for a really, really long time. Love the Botanica. I actually have one more bottle left in my stash. But, I have been going in with the Edgewood Beauty Blue Tansy Reparative Mask. And this is to strengthen and repair damaged hair. So, that is what this product looks like. And this is a very, very large product. And it is also a very thick product. So, it's been taking me a good little minute to get through here. But as you guys can see, I am working my way through. So y'all, I know for a fact that I'm not going to finish this <laughs> by the next um, routine situation. So if I do finish it, y'all will just see what I use um, in the next routine. But I seriously doubt that I'll finish this. I'll probably be taking this into the next routine as well. So yeah, you guys, that is the routine I plan to stick to in the first quarter of 2024, okay? Um, there's so many products here. A lot of the products that I have and a lot of products that I've been using are just about gone. I'm really trying to prioritize using up things that I already have opened. So that's why you get products like the Carol's Daughter um, Wash Day Delight Conditioner. I just want to use stuff up or even the Main Choice um, Exotic Kool-Aid Shampoo. There's just so many things that I have in my stash that only have a few uses left that have been open you know and I just want to get rid of those things I have a lot of products <laughs> y'all know I have a lot of products a lot of products that I have enjoyed in the past and just sort of forgot about so I definitely want to prioritize revisiting those products this year and just seeing what I think about them getting rid of them what I repurchase all of those things so yeah you guys that is my routine going forward for the next three or so months let me know what you guys are using down below if you guys have made it to the end of this video Shout out to y'all. Y'all are the real ones. Leave me a flower emoji if you have made it all the way to the end. Okay? Leave me a flower emoji. I want to know. So, yeah, you guys. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you are doing well. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.